Hey, howdy, folks. We are finally back. Oh my gosh. I need to give a giant disclaimer. I am kind of sick. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can hear how congested I am. But basically, I've had a nonstop headache since Tuesday. It's been like four days. Um, something's going on with my sinuses. I was getting dizzy spells, could not sit upright basically, so I couldn't stream. Um, I've also been having issues with my streaming laptop, so it's just been that kind of week. But I feel a little bit better today, so I'm going to try and get Raccoon rolling, because I've been saying I wanted to get to this for ages. And I still haven't played Mr. Saito, so we'll get through Raccoon first and uh, get to check this out after. Now I did play this back when it first came out on PC. Um, but it's been quite a while now, so I remember the overall story, but I imagine as we go through, little bits and pieces will come up again, I'll be like, oh, I forgot that happened, and it'll be getting to experience it all over again. So, that being said, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and do a cough before I start narrating, and we'll see how far we get. One second. Okay, hi, we're back. Um... This is very bizarre because I'm literally using my art tablet as kind of a duplicate monitor since my laptop screen is malfunctioning, but I think, I think this will work. Okay, let us begin. A new story. Oh, I love this song! Man, props to Lori Shigihara. The music in this is gorgeous. It has some of my favorite pixel art, actually. A new story. Ooh, okay. Move, confirm, cancel, menu, talk to mom when she's with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're in a hospital. <laughs> Who's there? Mm, ominous. Oh, hi. Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. <laughs> oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Rebellious. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. Gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yummy? Where'd you go? Oh, I'm so congested. <laughs> it's really hard to talk when you can't breathe. Okay, I can move around. Oh, it's this. Yes, this will work. Need to turn my computer up. Not my computer, my TV. Oh dear. I already have sinus brain. I have this plant that looks like it could use some water. I need water. Wait, there's a book here. Where'd the book go? Treatment guide. Patient number 237. Ooh. Temetrex to sodium. 
carboplatin. I don't know my drug interventions well enough to know what those would treat, but I bet they hint at a condition. An origami hat. Mm. Open the cabinet. Yes. The cabinet is empty. Well, okay. Door is locked. Why is the, the sign on the door? Sure. Patient must get the phone. Hi? Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. Aw. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. I forgot he had a little brother. Hello, Chan Chan Chan! How's it going, friend? Hello, hello! Happy Saturday! So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. Hope you're well, thank you. I'm very congested, but <laughs> that aside, it's almost the end of April, and I'm very happy about that, so it's getting better. I just wish I could breathe properly. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Ow. Oh, lights. Hello. Nurse. Well, well. I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. We like good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. <gasps> Freedom! You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! <laughs> Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. The book. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They took Rakuen! What did they take? Rakuen! It's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition! Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they'd take a children's storybook. <gasps> the silver. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. I'm just gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. I need water. Water? Mirror? Oh, <laughs> okay. Water? Fill the sink with water, yes. Oh, it's a light. 
I need a receptacle to put the water in so I may water this plant. Hmm. is bustling with life. Hello, Doctor. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I've literally talked to no one else. Okay, so that's my room. Hi. Well, hello there. Looks like you've gotten some of your energy back. I remember you. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? Crotchety old man. A book about airplanes. Mm hmm. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. <laughs> He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? <laughs> yes. Five gold! What's this? Blood samples, oh dear. Treatment guide. It looks like a little koala bear thing. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands! Okay, sorry, I'm leaving. Door's locked. Fair enough. It would probably be weird to go into your bathroom. <laughs> My bad. Is there anyone in here? Door's locked. Look at the sign. <gasps> Hello, Jay-chan! Welcome on in. How's it going? How goes Breath of the Wild? Congratulations on the Lionel defeat. That's super exciting. If I try the doorknob, what happens? There's an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. Huh. <sighs> Yes, Raccoon, it's finally happening! I'm still super congested, so I didn't want to start FF7, because that will have even more dialogue than this, probably. <laughs> and I've been wanting to get to this for a long time, so here we are. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Mm hmm. An artiste? What are you painting? Oh, going good, aside from the continued sinus stuff. <laughs> It is a very dreary, rainy day here in Ontario, so I am in my PJs playing video games, and that's how I intend to spend the rest of the day. Hey there. What's up? Did you hear? Tell me about folks. What's up? Oh, thank you for that shout out, Chan. Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember my name, because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk, and it's awesome. Oh, cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. You have a cool mom. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. I'm not done talking to you, wait! Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here, aww. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Dot dot dot. This poor child thinking about his own mortality. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Dot dot dot. <laughs> He's like, I have no comments about this conversation. And thank you, Jay-chan, for that shout-out as well. Did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chief Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. Chef, not Chief. I can read words. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> Tell me about folks here. Who do you want to know about? Let's start with Tony. Just between you and me, I 
think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? I bet we're gonna find out. Sue, tell me about Sue. Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah. I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend, aw. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. <gasps> Thank you for paying off your library fines, Jen. Like a good and responsible patron. And we have a hydrate routine. Hydrating now. Go forth, water. Hydrate my sinuses so I can breathe again. Hydration complete. A oh, cup of water for the plant. Perfect. Now if I could only just smash it through the screen, I would have my water. I... Uh, Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know anything about tech or about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. That's all for now. Lovely meeting you. Hello. Oh, you're Jackie. You've got a little bear hair tie. That's adorable. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Absolutely. Tell me more. Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? <laughs> she probably has some nasty paint water, that's true. I wonder how plants would take to <laughs> diluted paint as a source of hydration. <laughs> What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? Echidnas and platypus. I love them both. I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. Tell me more about your musings on life. Oh, haha, there they are. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Who is this man? <laughs> Stares in silence. Okay, I guess we're leaving that thread there. Did you hear about the thief? Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Oh dear. Oh dear, and thank you, Chan, for paying off your library fines like a good and responsible patron. Well done. I like the hair tie. Me too, it's very cute. I want one, except hair ties hurt me because when you have baby fine hair, anytime you tie it up, it inherently gets knotted and it sucks. <laughs> hey, Afro! Thank you for the lurk. Making food will be back after. Alrighty, friend, we'll see you then. Enjoy the food. Yes, impending doms, they are good. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... South of his room? Interesting. The one I couldn't... that was locked? Yeah. I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. How long have you been working here? No. Oh no, you had laryngitis! Cha, no! I'm so sorry. That's been going on for a while now, hasn't it? Has it been like on and off? I remember you mentioned you were dealing with that a while back, too. I'm pretty sure they were not stuff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for about a second. So unfortunately, I could not say. Uh, you tell me about folks. Nothing too exciting. Sometimes it's good to just have mundane day-to-day -day life. That's good. Panky, Kisaburo, and Danielle. Or Danielle, yes. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. <gasps> I want to be friends with this human. My goodness. I got it back after having a fever this week. Oh no! Is it doing better now? Ah, ice cream. 
using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. <laughs> He's such a nerd, I love him. Uh, Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. This is my greatest fear for as I get older, losing my brain. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. Oh, buddy. Fever is done. Laryngitis stayed. Well, that's unfortunate that that's still there. I'm glad the fever's gone. And I hope you'll feel better soon. Is there anything that would help you treatment-wise, or do you just gotta wait it out? He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh, spoons. Oh, man. I need to stop talking. I mean, that's probably a good start. <laughs> but hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure! <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't mean to click that again. Daniel. Danielle. I keep saying that wrong. Danielle is the purple-haired girl, purple girl, I can say that sentence, who hangs out in the ca cafeteria. Oh my god, I slept like nine hours, why can't I talk? <laughs> she sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. That's all. Did you call me? I read that without the F and shift and I was like, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. Yes, a professional. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. <gasps> the closet? No, different closet. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. Okay, I'm sorry. My stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. <gasps> I vaguely remember buying this for you last time. Hello. Where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Semi-functional vending machine. I need 10G, damn it. Maybe there's something in the plants. Maybe. Give me 5G. Locker? Yes. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. <gasps> there's something beneath the lab coat. Yes. Yay, I have 10G. Okay. <laughs> Just stole someone's money. It's fine. Don't think about it too hard. Pam. You received peanut choo choos. Is there anything here to interact with? A colorful paper flyer. Yes. Tell Cape Heroes, a group of fun loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. I didn't mean to. But no. Anything to read here? Patient survey. Hello, madam. I have a choo-choo for you. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. Get some peanut-flavored nutrients. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Does this mean I can do something back here now? I literally don't remember anything. Don't mind me. Nothing to see. Upper shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. The newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Yes. 19th of March, JNR. Already strapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Oh ho! Playing this during COVID era, yep. Middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Which do you want to search? Lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Read the card, yes. Ooh! One, seven, two, one. 
One, seven, two, one. Repeat till I walk to the door. One, seven, two, one. One, seven, two, one. What gear? Okay, can't do anything with it. Yes. I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> one, seven, two, one. Okay, it is written down. 5G, woot! Anything on this side? Empty. Okay. I don't think I went in here. Let me snoop through your lab space. Okie doke, nothing there. Pardon. Well, I guess I'll go in the rest of the rooms. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. You have to go. You should probably find a different bathroom. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know? If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. <laughs> okay. I know you gotta pee, but... Let's have a conversation first. Hello, Winston. How are you doing today? Uh, what's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Aw. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Tell me about folks. Sue! On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Oh. Tony. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Well... It's, it's complicated. Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. Oh yeah, we saw that on the flower. The flower flyer. Dear God. <laughs> this is off to a great start. What's in the cabinet? Nothing. Hello. Blood samples. Oh, a thermometer. Oh, brain injury! Oh no! Coma, respiratory therapy session. Oh, sad. I need water so bad. Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, we've been collecting for a long time. You look so sad. You want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? <gasps> Water receptacle. Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket. I'm pretty sure some fell out. You could find me just one. I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria. So you might want to check around there. Okay, I guess I can't say anything else now. An IV bag filled with saline solution. We must go to the cafeteria. Oh. Are you going to this bathroom? No. Door's locked. Okay. It appears there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. That's not creepy at all. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Mm-hmm. Yes. A soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the ladle. Look underneath. 5G! Sweet. Blood samples, another thermometer. 
The stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside. Okay, page one. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, he believed the metastases to be the cause of his delirium. Okay. It's my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Oh dear. Page 2 Torn. He was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. He was found in the yard digging in mud, completely unresponsive when questioned. He appeared to be unaware of location slash time. Carrying bags of, and then it's torn. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? What's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words, huh? Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Aww. Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? Is that why he was trying to get to the ceiling? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. Aw, tell me about folks. I'm not one for gossip. Fair enough. Alright, this is a beautiful little plant you have here. I can't talk about it, apparently, so I'm gonna move on for now. Okay. Door's locked. Cool. Alright, up to the cafeteria. Hello. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay. Door is rusted shut. Oh, little cat thing, what are you? A pile of freshly made plushy toys. Looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Yes. Snowy marble! I'll be back. Hang on. <laughs> I want to go talk to Sue again. I haven't found your key yet, bud. Uh, first door. Oh, Sue! I have a marble for you! Any luck? Yes. Ah, you found my snow world! Snow world? Shh! Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds! All of these are tiny planets. With tiny people living inside. Oh, it's playing the song! We're gonna come back to that later, but I love this song. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not! Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. Aww. What kinds of parties? Snowmen dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh! They have pretty lanterns everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. Snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, and feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more marbo my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. Ow. Do 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, that's ominous. Uh, flush. Flood the whole room. Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. <laughs> it could be cool, so we're gonna do it. I got the key to Tony's bathroom. Yes. Let's turn on the light. It's very dark. It appears there's a tunnel running through. Okay. I'm going to go snoop another bathroom, apparently. I'm trying to remember if I got all the marbles last time. That's not... no. This one. Yes. Boop! You don't know me. Yes. Oh, is this the code that I need? <laughs> a box labeled 5C Power Supply. Paper notices attached to the box and there's a lever in front. Read notice. Do not tamper with this device. I want to tamper. I want to tamper. Pull the lever, child. Power supply is on. Okay. Nothing visible happened here. Maybe now the code will be activated. Can I enter the code? Ha ha ha! Ha Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, 1721. No. Done. Oh! <gasps> who? 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 Huh? Hi! Okay. Should I be in here yet? I haven't gone to the cafeteria. That seems significant. Let us search this while I deal with my feelings. Okay, I'm not gonna read through all of these because some of them are the same. Uh, oh no, the NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Oh. Okay, that might explain some things. Small cabinet key. Okay. Weather journal. Look inside. Yes. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Oh, oh there we go. More blood samples. Just chilling. Okay, I'm gonna come back here because I feel like that might progress plot. And I want to make sure I see the cafeteria first. It's been so long, I should probably brush up on what I need to do each chapter. Okay. I found broom! Run, Eva. Neil might smack you with it again accidentally. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials. Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups line the shelves. These look tasty rice bowls and snacks. On the top shelf, we see an assortment of onigiri. Mmm, onigiri. It's been filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. Yummy. Are you the chef? Hello! Hey there! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? What's up? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out of the hospital with. Uh, hospital Hall with peanut choo choos. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. I already got it covered. Don't worry about it. Guess it's not just kids that like him, eh? Did you hear about the thief? Oh, yeah. Someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? It comes down after hours, and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow get got into the backspace. What is the backspace? The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed-off passageways. Half-built rooms. Storage closets, you know. The aftermath of... Well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Dang. Tell me about folks. Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but... Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. Oh, hello. What is beeping at me? No, okay. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. <gasps> me too! We're gonna be besties! I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Kisaburo. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. Ah, so we saw that soup ladle before. I feel bad for the guy though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Aw. Uh, Jackie. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. <laughs> You're funny. What's this? Oh, damn it, machine. Oh, there's your little kitties. Sorry, hun. But you know you're not supposed to leave the swing. Fine. What are you? Hi. I told you you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. But they're so cute and fluffy. It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. <laughs> Get it out of here, Daniel. Danielle. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. You're adorable. Also, hello, purple-haired one, who I keep mispronouncing the name of. Hey, kiddo, you need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. They're so cute. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor, even old cranky men like Tony and Panky. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> Good. Ah, <laughs> uh, did you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the receptionist's desk that's across from Kisaburo's room. I also did that thing already. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there before? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Uh, I do oh, did I... This one. Oh, I know all about the people here. Winston. Have you noticed Winston's wife hasn't doesn't have her wedding band on? Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. All the gossip. Okay, Tony? I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell that he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. I need the vending machine to restock, and I accidentally clicked this again. Sue! Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Damn. That sucks. Okay, well I guess that's it for here. I did get a small cabinet key, I don't remember which one was locked though, so I'm gonna go check all the cabins again. <laughs> That one, okay. What about this one? Excuse me. Scrubs. Doors rusted shut. You needed a key. Is it this one? Uh -huh. Doors locked. Okay. Is this something? Device used to measure height, I see. Um Okay, did that one. Airplanes. Just gonna check all of them. Good morning, Kija. Thank you for the lyric. Hope you're doing well. So terrible. Okay, that's where I stole money from. Hmm. What to do with this key? Is there one of these? Excuse me. Those are the rest of my little worlds. Do you want to know about any of them? Oh, of course, tell me. The green swirly one. 
That planet is like a really big forest. The trees are so dense that you can't even see the ground. There's a really big tree in the middle, see? He watches over everyone and keeps them safe. If anyone is acting mean or crazy, the big tree will put them in a cave until they calm down. <laughs> You're on time out, big tree said so. So you never have to worry. Tell me about the purple shiny one. We can't go to this planet anymore because it's polluted. See all that purple stuff in the air? It started coming out of the ground and now it's hard to breathe. Maybe someday we can clean it up though. It used to be a very nice place. It's our future in a marble, oh dear. The shimmery blue one. This is the paradise planet. It's like a really big beautiful ocean where everyone can go swimming. Water is special because even humans can breathe while they're inside it. That's awesome. My friend and I swam here all day. We never wanted to go home. Oh, Babu. Okay, no cabinet there. Why am I yawning? I slept so much. Here? No, that was the soup ladle. And I don't think this did anything. Okay, well, maybe it's for later. Hello, Savage! How's it going? Yes, we are finally getting back to Rakuen, and by back I mean starting. <laughs> okay, uh... I can't think of where else I'd use it, so we're just gonna go check out who that sus guy was. Can I use it here? Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Imagine using the key in the room where you got said key. <laughs> <laughs> no one look at me, it's fine! There's a laminated card laying at the bottom of the drawer. Yes, read card. Oh, let me write this down. 2954. Okay, I have it. <laughs> I do not perceive excellent. I searched that. Boop. Two, nine, two, uh, pfft, no, incorrect. Let me enter, please. Two, nine, five, four. <gasps> Where are you going? Where are you going? I saw that. Turn the light on. Do, 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 do. Unknown specimen, lovely. Attention staff, a representative from um, Koide Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Was there like an earthquake? <coughs> Excuse me. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. A pair of glass speakers. Which in here? Door's locked, yes. Uh, some scattered things on the floor. Medical books. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm terrible at these. Uh... Uh, no. <laughs> Incorrect. I need to get to that panel. <laughs> Hang on. Door's locked. Okay, let me reset that. Boop. Um, okay. Oh dear. Hi, so sleepy. Uh -huh. Ha 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 ha! I did it. Pull the lever. Ooh. Ding. Okay. Open locker. Back inside, I got metal door key. Excellent. Boop. Mm hmm. Suspicious.
stack of folders, folder one, construction contract, card key. Someone left a note here. Yes, let's read it. Joshi, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble again. Money. Boop. Yes. Yes. You don't have card key, damn it. Do. Guess we'll try over there. Hang on, what's this? Do, 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 do. Boop. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hang on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Insert. Bills and tax forms. Okay, two card key. Yoink. Give. Yes. Mm -hmm. And card key number two. Bam. And card key. Just gonna take all these in case I need them. I don't know if I do, but hey. So how do I get past there? Oh, <laughs> I can walk through, got it. Notice is posted here, yes. I have all three. Oh, do I need to put all three in at the same time? Got it, okay. <laughs> oh, no, look at me. I feel like I'm jumping ahead before I read the hints and it's going to make my life difficult. There we go. There's a shovel. I can't use it though. The book! My book! Oh. Ha ha ha! Hi! It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Eh. I guess you kinda got me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. <laughs> Down on my luck, you need money. So you need to sell the things you steal. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets, heh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Yeah, you get used to it after a while. Uma Thurman? Uma? So, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit of fish I'd left from last week if you'd like. Mm. Uh, that's okay. But thank you. You've played this before but never finished. I played through the full thing back when it came out on PC, but I haven't touched it in years, so I have forgotten most of the minute things. I remember the overall story, but the details, they are vague. Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Yay, we got Raccoon back! And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. 
Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? <gasps> Secrets. Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Become sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Huh? Hello. What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here. But this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. <gasps> Mama! Ooh, the door be glowing. Hello, Mumsy. Mom! Aww. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Rakuen to me, Mom? Beautiful music. Of course I will. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisora's Forest. Hey, ma'am, too. How's it going? Welcome on in. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Good night. the kid gonna show up again. Mom, is that you? Ooh, I'm getting stiff. Ow. <laughs> Hello, you're here. Hey. Yummy! You came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the back space. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. It seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Huh, <laughs> so you got it back for your ma? Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy, too. That silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you? You might never get to leave. Oof. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, hey, man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami? Yeah? I hope you get better. Ow.
Hello, Mumsy. Where's the book? Do you have the book? Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Dot dot dot. Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but... I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? You know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it, and people can sell silver for money. No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But... The thief took our book. He obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. <gasps> this is the Raccoon Key. You need it to open the book, as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special, and now it belongs to you. There's something, there's a note in the corner. <gasps> you received the Silver Raccoon book key! Thank you, Mom! But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise! I will take such good care of it! Okay then, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Y. Mumsy is here, and so is a note. Read it? Yes. Break me and I'll multiply, become sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile, I'll always smile back. A mirror. Or you might need this in writing, there's something crazy where I live. I had something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while. Ha <laughs> ha! And maybe you can find it. Okay. Is this still- Oh! Oh. Oh, we're back at the room, okay. Shortcut. Door's locked. Alright, let's go to our bathroom then, I guess. Boop. Okay, so note to me, remember that's there. I want to water the plant. Mm -hmm -hmm. Looks like someone has hidden something behind the mirror. Uma's key! Alright, well, maybe now we go here. Ugh, congestion makes head hurt so much. Oh! Here we go. Mom? Where are we? I'm not sure. So strange. Mom? Or Mom, the Raccoon key. door. <gasps> the door is opened. Mom? I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. 
even to Morizora to ask him for a wish? That's where you want to go. Can we go together? Of course. Well, shall we? Okay. So colorful. I love the pixel art in this game. Okay, I do need to step away for just a second though, so let me do a thing. Do do do. Okay. <laughs> we shall explore this new world in just a moment, my friends. I will be right back.
Right, hello, I've returned. I went to go decongest myself and then I got a mini nosebleed. <laughs> so I ate a cookie and had to stop the bleeding. I'm here, hi. Oh, what is my life? Okay. Oh, wait, let me just move that over here. Okie doke. Okay. Now, we are in this new world. Oh, that's, that's just my life. <laughs> I've been prone to nosebleeds for as long as I've walked this earth. Oh, there are words there. What in the world? How did you get in here? You just came through the door behind us. <gasps> there's no door behind you? There's no door behind you. <laughs> it still sucks, I agree. Yes, there, yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy! I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Morizoto's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then. I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah, I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rakulin? Yeah. That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian Morizora. Ah, Morizora. He lives in a cave just northwest of this village. Northwest. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is Lebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! <gasps> Hush, it's not nice to talk about others' behinds- or <laughs> others' behinds, I read that wrong. <laughs> Not nice to talk about others behind their backs, or their behinds either, unless they're okay with that. Or about their backs. Okay, I was in the general direction it was going for anyway. <laughs> hey! Sorry! <laughs> I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it is all. I love this music. A vase full of flowers. There's a lot of flowers here. Flowers that are bigger than your head. Small fragrant flower. Flowers that are bigger than your head. So many flowers. A healthy houseplant. Oh, I wish mine were healthy. Okie doke. Hi. Oh, well, um, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? <laughs> hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how are you? Recently, the river water levels were getting dangerously low. So the great water dragon, Stormy, moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. Do you have a water receptacle I could borrow? Oh, there's a bunny outside! Hello, darling! Oh, it's sitting in the bush because it's rainy and gross! Oh, poor Babu! It's so cute, I wish. It was close enough to get a cute picture of it. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, this pixel art is so pretty! Hello! Innkeeper's assistant. If you're looking for Morizora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. North Vist. Let's see. Pink? Or a note next. To, where did I get pink? Wow. A note next to the tray reads Pinky's Sila Berry Donuts. Sila? Chef Pinky baked those. His donuts are the best! So you know the chef here, huh? Interesting. Do you like to sleep here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, sleep? Question mark? And they would tell me what sleep does. We're fully rested. Let's save. Because we have not done that yet. <laughs> there we go. And let's make... Uh... Let's make a backup, just in case. Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, I forgot how gorgeous this is. 
Tony the bear keeps destroying our gardens. Tony the bear, huh? He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. Well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Morizora's forest. Are you a pink cat? <laughs> what are you? What am I? I'm a label, of course. What are you? A dragon. <laughs> Nonsense. We have dragons here and they look nothing like you. Well, unless you're some kind of special dragon that I've never seen before. But I highly doubt it. I want to see what the other options are. A great warrior. Impressive. Maybe you can help our blacksmith get his tools back. He's been hanging out near Morizora's cave ever since an angry spirit stole his tools. Mm -hmm. Human, of course. Human? Is that anything like a horse? Well, all creatures are welcome here in Label Village, so feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, the sun's coming out! Yay, bunny! Yay, you can get out from under the rain! Uh, are you a pink cat? Excuse me, I'm a label, of course. Cats walk on all fours and can't talk. Okay, I guess I could have done those. <laughs> uh, I guess that's all for you. Hi. I got the bug, the travel bug. I can't sit still, I'm so restless. I want to travel the world. I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Who's Winston? Winston's a carpenter label who lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what happened to her. Oh. Where would you go? I think the question is, where wouldn't I go? But, oh, I didn't mean to click that again. Ah! I don't know what I can interact with and what I can't. Oh! I got some berries, apparently. Should I be picking these as I go? I seem to remember I had to backtrack. Don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. To get supplies, and I should probably keep an eye on them as I go. What's in here? Oh! Chef? It's Panky! If you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare and not much time to do it. Wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? Okay. Anything I can do? Look at these tiny little beds. Alright, well that's where Panky is. Artiste, look at this painting, I want it! Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Are you new here? Normally at this time I'd be selling art supplies, but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. The storm? There was a storm here? A really big one. Lots of things were destroyed. Bamboo is growing out of control and blocking paths. It's crazy around here. But the biggest problem right now is that all of the beanstalks connected to the village, or all the beanstalks connecting the village with the Skylands have been destroyed. The Skylands? Yeah. Half our tribe lives up on these islands in the sky. We can't reach them without beanstalks. You look a bit worried. I guess I'm just concerned about the other villagers. Everyone here works so hard, and I feel like the storm kind of brought us all down. I wish there was something I could do to help them out, you know? See you later. So it looks like this world has alternate versions of everyone we met in the hospital. A label? Cute. Ooh, there's a treasure chest over there that I can't access yet. Star night is just around the corner. When I go this time, I'm gonna catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Good for you. Hi. Zzz. Okay, can't get to that either. Hello. It's 
and he came through here the other day and almost crushed all my crops. Bear has such a bad attitude. I want to cut bamboo so I can get all these things. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey kiddo, welcome to my store. What's up? Lately I've been thinking about getting a fifth cat. My husband isn't too keen on the idea, but he'll warm up to it with time. Wait, these are cats? <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> I love that! Um, yeah, these are cats. Haven't you ever seen a cat before? What a weirdo. What's for sale? Nothing at the moment. I'm still getting things in order after the storm. But I might have some stuff later on. Noted. Oh, it's the plushies! Congestion's getting really bad. I want to get through this chunk, though. Hi. We share this forest with the envoy. Winston told me that you can tell our envoy, and the envoy spirits pass through because it gets really cold. Let's see. <gasps> A receptacle at last? The storm knocked over all our emerald beanstalks. That means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village lives on those big islands up there in the sky. The Skyward Sword guilt. It stabs me. We should check it out sometime. Well, once this sapling grows up. If only there were a way to speed up the process. Like, what if there were another world? An alternate universe, if you will. Where altering things there would alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways. Dot dot dot. I have a lot of time to think, okay? <laughs> Can I have it? Can I have it? I want it. I want it. You're not gonna let me have it. What about this? Damn it. Fine. Fine. Ooh, that looks significant. Okay, we'll come back to this in a moment. Enter at your own risk. That's ominous. Berries. Yoink. Hi. P-Dog. What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? You look like you've never seen someone eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. <laughs> okay, so defensive. I go up there. Oh, what is that? Hi, I'll be right with you. Tenji! Weehee! There's a path down there. Let me talk to you first. Hey, you guys are new! Are you visitors? Or are you gonna live in the forest with us? We're Chef Panky's kitchen assistants. It's a great job. Buddy works us to the bone. We just snack out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. There is someone down there. Hello. And berries. Hi. Talk to me. Buffkiss. <laughs> hey, you aren't trying to take the side of the berries off that bush, are you? Because they're mine. Watch me take them. Watch me. <gasps> Who is taking my berries? I'm sorry. <laughs> So you took my berries, did you? No matter. They all end up in my belly one way or another. Indeed. By orders of the label chief, no one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm. I can probably just move the sign. It doesn't look too heavy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Sentient sign. No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. You think I'm standing around for my help? Oh, I... I didn't know. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Such a sassy little sign, oh my gosh. <laughs> What's down here? Okay, that's blocked off. And I don't think this goes anywhere, but let's check. Nope. Okay, up to the cave then. 
that's not where I want to go. This kind of gives me uh, Chrono Cross vibes a little bit. Alright! Hey kid, wait up! You're here? Uma! I hope you know. Those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You'd better take this. What is Zora's cave map? Good luck, kid. Thank you, Uma. Oh! Huh. Hi. Cave bud. Well, are you really going in there? That place is weird. Okay. Can't proceed that way. Oh, blacksmith Jackie. Wait. Let's try to remember. Does Jackie correspond to someone we met? I don't remember. What are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? You were just looking for Morizara. Did we get the wrong cave? No, this is Morizara's cave. But you know it isn't safe right now, don't you? The envoy are here. The envoy? No spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, they're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. Oh dear. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm sorry to hear that. So sorry, even. Eh, at least I made it out alive. What if we were just really careful? <laughs> Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Marty Zora. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh. Or is that all I wonder? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was so caught up in thought. I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall! You're not 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem, though. I know you're trying to reach Morizora, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you get my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box. Including my axe. Mm-hmm. I'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? Yep, I guess. That's a spirit. Er, no pun intended. I'll wait here for your return. Good luck! Mm-hmm. Hello? Excuse me, do you mind moving so that we can go through here? Get through. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too tired to move. Ooh, tired. Aw, why are you so tired? Oh, I love this music. Well, usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. But my tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree gets what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. Hmm. I guess we'll go here. Hang on, be right back. Okay, hi. 
So congested. Ugh. Hello. Gollum child. <laughs> Big brother forgets to eat. He gets so tired that he just sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. Oh no. Lethargy of Gollum. Mm. What's the matter? I'm so hungry. So hungry that I can't move. Poor thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we could give you. No, I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need Sila apples only. I'm Sila K tree. Mm. Well, alright. Are you the tree? Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard that if you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? Hmm, I don't think I've heard that saying before. Well, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Aww. Thank you! You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. But they are so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? <laughs> Things I did not expect to say today. <laughs> One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? Sure. Um, let's go down here. Ooh. Okay. What's over here? Oh, buddy. You good? Hey, do you have any water? Mm, let me check real quick. Why, well, yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you, but when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. Like a pond's worth, I drink a lot. Hmm, I don't think we could carry that much water. I understand. You happen to come across any, though. We'll let you know. So stuffy. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Up. Yes. Ooh. Sunlight. I kind of remember you guys. Alright, guess we'll go down. There's a key symbol there. Interesting. Ooh. Hello. I had a long day. I'm so tired. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, well, Mari Zora, wake up. Do you think I can fly? Hello. Oh, this is the order. I wasn't paying someone's birthday. How do you do? Okay, hang on. One. I need to write this down. Hang on. I do not trust my brain capacity today to remember this order, so, therefore. Okay. One. Two, three, drawing squares on a piece of paper. Yeah. Alright, you were one. Eight. Five. Two. Four. Seven. That leaves you as number six. Okay. Have the order. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Although this is glowing and ominous. Hang on. Okay, just checking. Okay. One. 
сути. Good eye. What did we get? Blue stone key. Cool. I don't know what that does, but I'm excited. There's a set of stairs. Oh, hi. Sue, hello. How are you? Have you ever lost something that was really important to you? I have. I was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were gonna meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. Hmm. Hi, Brandon. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding indie rap artist named Little Buzz. Or Little Buds. He's a sky bud, so he looks like me, but he lives in the sky. It's so good. What's the song about? Oh, it's so deep. I have to... It's about having to work every day, serving tea to rich buds. Having a high-strung boss who wears powdered white wigs, wanting to make it a hip-hop. As a hip-hop artist, dear God, I can't read today. It really speaks to me. It's so good. What are you? Oh, I'm a cave bud. Not quite fully grown yet, but I'm getting there. Okay, see ya. You ever had a best friend? Yes, I have. She might be in chat still. My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. Oh, such a good friend. Hey, I see. How's it going? Welcome on in. I'm a glow shroom. Oh, and thank you for paying off your library fines like a good and responsible patron. I'm supposed to glow, big and bright. But lately, I've been having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. I just gotta take it easy, make sure to exercise. You know how it is, I feel called out. Mm. Oh no, creepy. Mom? What are those? Hmm. I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoy that Jackie talked about. Hi. Mom? Stay close to me, dear. <laughs> Creepy. It's alright, dear. I think they're gone now. <laughs> Thank you, standby, for that shout out. <laughs> That looks very door-like. Hmm. <laughs> Mother, there's more. <laughs> also, ah, what is happening? There are spirits. Mom, there's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Oh, Mumsy. Ooh. Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. So brave. Mom, we made it! I knew you could do it. Friendly foot. The dark makes me sad. It is very dark in here, isn't it? Hello. Oh, you're so cute. I don't know what a foot is talking about. That foot. The dark is great. It's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like sunlight? Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, 
I took a wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? I'm sure I can. Tenji! Oh! Yeah! Break that floor! Okay. Hey, kid! Did you come to listen to our guild practice? Guild practice? Oh, you haven't heard of us? We meet here every week to jam! We call ourselves... No holds barred! <laughs> With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Get it? Because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> With a Y. Because we're literally bards. Dot dot dot. It's a play on words. <laughs> ah! That's clever. Lady, I like your style. <laughs> so like, down here we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's gotta wear a suit and tie. More for the man. But down here, he shreds on the electric loot. Oh my god, I want one. Wah! <laughs> that sprite was so good. And then there's little buds. Sup, homies. He spends his days serving tea to a bunch of snobby buds in the sky. I'm all like, more sugar, sir? Can I offer you a scone? Only suckers eat scones, oh my. Ooh! Whoa there, buds. Sorry, sometimes I just gotta let it out. <laughs> we all do, little buds. We all do. Channel it into the music. I hear you, flower. So like I was saying, down here we can be ourselves and just jam. So if you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. No one's barred! <laughs> but what about... Hey guys, good to see you again. Remember, stay strong and don't let, ever let anyone tell you that you aren't good enough. I need light. Look at you! With your plaid shirt. Ew. <laughs> I love the sunglasses. Sup, homies. Can I borrow this? No. Oh! Ah ha ha, I get it. Okay. Ding! Oh, it's so happy! I love this song too! I forgot about this song! I'm so happy! Blech! How can you stand all this light? Oh, it's such a pretty song. Hang on, let me listen. It's so cute. Light makes me grow! Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not. Not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. <gasps> He's like, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> you the one who punched those holes in the ceiling? Did you bring me the sunlight? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe? It might have been an accident, though. The best accident ever! I'm the happiest foot in the forest! Oh, is it just me? Did it get really bright all of a sudden? Stays like this, I'm gonna go hang out in the dark with the other mushrooms. Eek! I'm sorry! Oh, it's no biggie. I have legs and can get up and move no problem. This guy over here, though, he's kind or he kind of needs a sun, so I guess it's okay if this one room is so bright. I love the light! <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Plants. Yay, we did a thing! I need to cough, hang on. Oh. 
Okay, hi. Um, now what? Mm -mm -mm. Still haven't found switches yet. We do have. Hmm. No, hang on. To find your friend. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to get through this cave. I might need to stop soon, though. Throat is very angry. Is there anything else over here? I don't see one. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, you look so happy. Excuse me. You already helped one of my feet? Thank you! There are just two more that need something now. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's this? Switch. Good. Oh, so happy! This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All he did was pull a switch. You gave me water! Water! I can finally be me again! Thank you so much! I'm glad. This is great! <laughs> There's two out of three! Just one more! Over on the other side, I guess we'll go that way. Aha! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was enough to move. Oh, hello. Hey, I've never seen you guys before. You don't look like Liebels, and you certainly don't look like you're from the Envoy, so you must be new. Uh, do you live here? Yeah, I actually live through that door up there. Fortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. Now there's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. That's terrible. That's no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. He only eats mushrooms and rocks. I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. The Envoy. The Envoy are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. Oh, excuse me. But some of them have grown overcome with bad energy, fear, anger, hatred. It's those that you have to watch out for. What are you? I'm a cave bud. Along with the mushrooms, flowers, and mini moris, we help keep the forest running. Western water flow switch. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to get to the western water flow switch? Oh, yes, we are. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to move those rocks first. Do you have a pet pig by chance? A pet pig? <laughs> Goodness, no. Let's do that. Pigs love rocks. A pig would clear those rocks out in five seconds flat. Interesting. Thank you for the information. Okay, I'm 
speeding through some of it because my voice is giving out and I want to preserve as much as I can. Oh, hello. Aw, Mom, look! It's a little onion! <gasps> Are you calling me a little onion? A bad attitude onion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're much bigger than any other onion I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. <laughs> Apologies. Oh look, it's the kid who thinks I'm little. Well, let me ask you something, kid. See these fists? Are these little? I'm gonna get beat up by an onion. Um, well... You think my fists are little? Well, uh, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists. Good comeback. Well done. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll peek down here before I forget that's there. But, um. Ooh, can I use the same thing here? I can. Ooh, I'm getting so lost. Ah! Bigger golems are always roughhousing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with the cats, me at every party. Hello. You come to feed me rats or truffalos? Huh? No? Can I stay here? I know where there's a big tasty rock for you. Hmm. Okay. This isn't anything, is it? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh. Okay. What's up here? A red door. Dude! Ah! Ah! Why are we all screaming? What are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a ranch room. Oh no. A ranch room? Oh no! <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Hmm. Come here, little dude. trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimeji guards. Oh my god, indeed. Together we make up the Radroom Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morizor's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil, a struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the Radrooms and the Badrooms have been at war. Radrooms. Like the poor little dude you just stepped on. Sorry. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. That's one way to put it. Radroom spores in the air mean we all get along better. Badrooms, on the other hand. <gasps> no! Badrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly. Stuck up! So, little dude, whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad. Not totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome! Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. Moms are totally cool. <laughs> da da da. Eradicate. Yeah. I need to be really careful not to step on things that aren't bad. Nice view of the water from here. Indeed. Some crazy dude with a big mustache and overalls once uh, overalls on came in here the other day and tried to eat me. 
He thought it would give him an extra life. I had to tell him, look man, I'm not that kind of mushroom. Ha, ah, ha, ha, references. The only thing you'll get if you try to eat me is a really bad stomach ache. The truffalos are mushrooms that live right above us. They have the most radical tasting dirt. But those dudes don't share. That dirt makes them taste really good. That's why the cave pig wants to eat them. Wait. Is that like what karma is? Whoa! <laughs> Feels so rad doing our civic duty. Thanks for helping me out, man. How radical am I? Hmm. I'm totally gonna have to check with my sources and like get back to you, man. What do we do again? No, I got it. So how do I... How do I walk over this without stepping on it, though? I already stepped on it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't get to that right now. Uh oh Oh! Child! There are traps about. obnoxious. Is there some sort of indicator that tells you where they are, or is it just trial and error? No, 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 up the stairs. There you go. Okay. For why? I just wish to talk to Blueburb. There's a treasure in the room below me. Pity it's behind the locked door. I wonder what's inside. Maybe I can. Ho 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 ho. Yay. Redstone key. Now I can go up there. Ooh. Very good. We'll see what's up the rest of those stairs in just a minute. I have business to attend to with this door. Ah. Ooh. I'm so lost. Okay. Stomp them out. Let's go adventure with our Ann. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I know it's hard to believe, but did you know there there's a pig living inside this cave? It's kind of insane. Lucky for us, they only eat rocks and truffles, not cave buds. Just between you and me. Not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but the pig had to eat someone in this cave, and I had to choose who it was. Well, I'll just be honest with you, I'd choose the Druffalos. Well then. Okay, that is good, Shroom. Do not crush. It's down here. Oh! Oh. So distinguished. The fine porcelain cup is filled with muddy water. All of these sandwiches are filled with dirt. Oh, a switch! A dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us! Ugh, so barbaric. Switch. Oh, yay. We have the most delicious dirt in all of the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt, huh? You've come here to ask for our dirt. We're just not going to give it to you if you don't give us something in return. I see. see where these go. Okay, that's the room I was just in. Oh! Okay, hang on. I'll come back to that. across good shroom. Don't do it. Okay. Up here. And then over here, right? Hi. Did I talk to you? What 
much a step friend, indeed. Hi, buddy. I hit both the switches. Oh, woe is me. Hunger consumes me. My stomach's so empty it aches. How I long for that nectar of the forest. That life-giving ambrosia. That which pleaseth my stomach. Delicious, delectable, divine dirt. <laughs> I see. Oh, there's a lot of shrooms in here. Maybe you'll be in less of a foul mood after I do this. Boop. <gasps> wow, something feels different. Okay, attitude onion. <laughs> suddenly feel happy. Oh, they've become happy, Onion. Da da da. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. Wow, this is such a nice cave. The sound of the underground river near here. The cool feel of the rocks beneath my stalks. And wow, I really like your hat. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. giant circle. Now that I've hit the two switches- oh, we're over here now. Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well, one time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side, and as he jumped, the rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? this before. Oops. <laughs> so close. some pig repellent. Hmm, I wonder who in this cave would want some pig repellent. Indeed. Squish. Ooh, a treasure chest. Thank you. Tenji. Let's see. Oh, headache is getting pretty intense. Do I keep going or do I stop? I wish I smelled like grapes. That's very specific. Oops. Uh, so biggie. Okay. Oops. There's a thing down there that's empty. This is where we go down here. Well, I wanted to finish this cave, but I think 
given that uh, the headache from congestion is setting in, I might call it there, but we're gonna squish this mushroom first. Squish! And, uh... Come back. I didn't want to get to Morisata, though. Mm. Golems, they smell like grapes. Yeah, okay, I think we'll stop here. Uh, so let me- aw, oh, let's talk to mom first. Hi mom! Hello dear. How are you? So you want to go through this cave, eh? Yes, of course! Okay, I guess since you want to go so badly, I'll cave in and go with you. Oh ho 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 ho! We're gonna do a dad joke for our mom who likes to joke. What is our dad joke of the day? What do you get when you cross a pig? Ah, fitting. And a pineapple. A porcupine. <laughs> I hate that I like that. <laughs> ah, well done, dad jokes. Well done. Get it? Because we're in a cave. And people cave in when they're giving in. Oh, ho, ho. oh mom. <laughs> There we go! Alright! Well, two hours in! We got to see a little bit of the hospital world, we got to see a bit of Morizora's forest world, and when we pick this up again, we will hopefully finish up uh, the rest of this cave, go see if we can find Morizora to talk, and see what mysteries unfold from there. So I was hoping to get through this game before uh, Friday, because I have some friends over Saturday for my birthday, and then I leave Sunday to go home for a week. But it's really gonna depend on how my sinuses do today, day to day, so... I may be around, I may not. I'll try and get it done as fast as we can, because after that... Um, I was hoping to do a Breath of the Wild stream on Tuesday for my birthday, if I'm feeling up to it. Um, and then after that, just a couple weeks till Tears of the Kingdom, so we'll be switching over to that basically the day it drops, and I don't want this to fall behind. So I'll do what I can, but we might not finish it as quick as I like. <laughs> to be determined. But anyway, friends, I think I'm just gonna head out. I'm, I don't think I'll raid out today. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a bit rough, but thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday slash weekend. And we will see you, fingers crossed, hopefully soon. So, until then, take care, everybody. Bye!